The gub connector is working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh oh. Tweak, come in, Tweak. Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three. Oh dear, it's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere, and neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. Now, the gub's moving all by itself. Tweak must have repaired the gub connector. If we follow the glider, we'll find our way back. Lenny, are you all right? <laughs> I suppose so, thanks to my extra hard shell. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my flipper! It hurts from being wedged in those rocks. I can't swim in this condition. You'll just have to leave me here, I suppose. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You need to see our medic. Hey, so, come on, we'll carry you. Hello, Tweak! Hello! Where are you? Whoa! Flappity flippers, the octo ski. Tweak fixed the gub connector. Wait for us. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Hey, so you found my rover cam. Thanks. You're welcome. And there's the rest of the gub X. Right on schedule. Look, it's Captain Barnacles and Quasi. And the Loverhead Sea Turtle is with them. Oh no, he's hurt. This flipper splint should do the trick. Oh, it feels much better. Thanks. I guess things are looking up after all. Lenny's on the mend, the Rover Cam is back, and the Gup X is all in one piece. Now, we just have to find our way back to the Octopod. Um, Cap, I fixed up the gub connector, but I'm afraid the mapping system still doesn't work. How will we find our way out of here? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll spend the rest of our days lost in the sea of vanishing ships. Lost? Oh, I never get lost. We loggerheads have a great sense of direction. I travel in and out of here all the time. You don't get confused in all this murky seaweed? Not a bit. <laughs> and now that you've fixed my flipper, I'm ready to swim. Then lead the way, Lenny. Don't mind if I do. Tweak, your friend Sandy the sea turtle is almost here. Thanks, Cap. I hope she likes the special surprise I'm making for her. You'd better hurry up. Your friend is moving fast. Yeah, Sandy's a leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are fast swimmers, that's for sure. Visitor arriving in five, four, three, two, one. I'll open the octo hatch, Tweak. Tweak! <laughs> hey! Octonauts, this is my good friend Sandy. Welcome aboard the Octopod. I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I'm so glad I could stop by. How far did you swim to get here? Oh, show us on the map. Well, I swam all the way from there. To here. Yes. Your flippers must be really tired. I'm used to it. Leatherback sea turtles travel farther in the ocean than any other sea turtles. The trick is to find a really fast current. A fast current? Ah, tell us more. A current is like a river in the ocean that's always moving. I swam in one to get here, and today I'm looking for a really fast one. But what's the big hurry? I have to get back to the beach where I was born so I can lay my eggs there. Hold on. I made something for you. This is a friend finder. I'll put this on your back. 
And look, there you are. The friend finder helps me find you on the map to see where you're going. Tweak, you're a genius. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Can someone point me in the right direction? Let's see. If you're going back to the beach where you were born, you should head that way. Gotta go, Octonauts. Thanks for the friend finder, Tweak. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. bye. Oh, well. Look, there she goes. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder why she's going that way. That's not the way to the beach. Pinto, how did you sneak aboard? Aha, a stowaway. Wait, dead ahead. There they are. Whoa, is that the double orc? Octonauts, here's the plan. Quasi, you go around the back and I'll... Quasi! Avos, ye double up! You can't hold me here, you scurvy beast! So much for the plan. Activate helmets. Oh, oh, can I go too? No. Uh, Quasi, we may not be dealing with a Dabalock after all. Of course not. I know Dabalocks, Captain. This is no Dabalock. Hmm. It looks like a plant to me. It is a plant. A type of seaweed called kelp. We're at the edge of a kelp forest. Dashie and Shellington are trapped in the kelp. We've got to get them out. We'll have to use the tow line to pull them out. Peso, check on Shellington. Quasi, let's get the tow line. Huh? <gasps> this kelp is strong. We'll have to pull really hard. No, wait. The guppy isn't the only thing stuck in there. Look. We have to be careful. If we pull too hard, it could hurt those baby snails. You're right, but we have to free the gup right now. It's, it's like a bandage. They're just wrapped up in a giant bandage. Hmm. Do you think you could unwrap it? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a lot of unwrapping to do, Captain. And we do have a spare helmet. Pinto? Aye, aye, Captain. Remember, this is a real mission. I'll follow your orders just like a real Octonaut. Optonauts, take your positions, if you don't mind. Captain, peel from the top. Aye, aye, Peso. Quasi, take it under. Aye, aye, Peso. Pinto, open that leaf. Aye, aye, Peso. On the rock. <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like Growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, he vanishes. Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. 
We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. <laughs> Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! Ah, we found the thief! Here he is under all our equipment! Ow, uh, ow. <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. I uh, guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> Tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. I'll get this one for you, me hearty. These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. <sighs> That's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because... Uh, because I need to, um... Let me guess. Practice your driving skills. Aye, oh, that's it. Practice my driving skills. <laughs> <laughs> dolphins! Those dolphins are fast, even the babies. But I reckon I can catch up with them. Wow! Woohoo! Always nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh, he must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find her. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut bee near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. 
He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak, we'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. Quasi to Cap Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Quasi. Peso's been knocked out, Captain. I'm on my way back. Barnacle's out. Who's there? Oh. Peso. Peso. Can you hear me? I... I... I'm OK. Tell me, did you see the shrimp monster, me hearty? No, but there was a big boom noise like you said, Dashy. <gasps> Oh, no! Don't those belong to the captain? Yeah! We've got to find him! I'm coming with you! I'll call you if I see the captain. <gasps> Peso, you help the captain! I'm going to stop this shrimp monster once and for all! I can hear it, but I can't see it. Yeah! Yeah! Show yourself and your giant claws, you scurvy beast! <gasps> oh, no, you don't. Peso? Bandage wrap, now! <laughs> I surrender! I surrender! You're the giant shrimp monster? I'm not a giant shrimp monster. I'm a snapping shrimp. Snapping shrimp? Yes. I'm one of the loudest creatures in the sea. We noticed. But why have you been attacking octonauts? <laughs> I'm the one who's been under attack. I thought all of you were after me. So I did what a snapping shrimp does. I use my loud claw snap to protect myself from animals who want to eat me. We promise we don't want to eat you. Ah, we thought you were coming after us. Sorry for the misunderstanding. <laughs> no hard feelings. But do you think you could untie my claw now? Um, no more snapping? Snapping shrimps, Honor. But how can such a tiny little thing like you make one of the biggest sounds in the sea? Hmm, I don't know. I just kind of snap my claw like this. Uh, no! All right. I was just trying to work out how my claw makes that boom, that's all. You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry. Sorry! You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud! Yes, you are! It's oh, too Captain, too loud. You're too maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, uh, oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <gasps> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? 
Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh... Well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I looked scary. Nobody messed with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. Nah, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks? Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Huh. I don't have a plan. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then, why are we whispering? Hmm. Oh. Shiver me, whisk! Yeah. Sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well. At least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gob. Again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! Oh. They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 That really hurt. Oh, yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! Good. Got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Anemones, please stop stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Just coming through. Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh. Oh. Well. We have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. Why don't you anemones move back and stay on this side of the rock, and you anemones stay on this side, and both of you keep the middle free for the crabs. And please, no more stinging. We'll do it if they do it. We'll do it. High five! Ouch! Yeah. Yeah. Now let me see if I have something to make your stings feel better. Yeah, they really hurt. I bet mine hurt more. No, mine do. I've got a Peso. Yeah, I've got a rat. Are you okay? Everything's fine, Captain. Peso stopped the battle of the blobs. Good work, Peso. But what about the other blobs back at the octopod, Captain? Oh, don't worry, Peso. Hi, they're not the stinging kind.
Now this is a blob of pudding. <laughs> Octonauts, activate spoons. There's plenty for everyone. Dig in. Come on, yeah. dig in. Yeah. Here, Shellington. <gasps> Give it a whirl. Um, but, uh, well, no, I, I've never been the best driver. Oh. 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 oh, no, look, they're going to hit the octopod. Oh, oh, shiver, whiskers. Don't worry. <laughs> Smart Gut Remote Control, the dubs are totally crash proof. They stop by themselves before they crash into anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> Tweak, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Without the remote, I can't control the gups. <laughs> Five runaway gups. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the octopod. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to catch these runaway gups. The gups went that way, towards that underwater canyon. Tweak, how soon can you have the remote fixed? Faster and you can say, uh, six to eight weeks. I have to order some new parts, so it's going to be a while. Hmm. Then we'll just have to swim out there and round up the gups ourselves. Swim? Even I can't swim that fast. Tweak. Are there any other vehicles that we could use? Well, there is one. The Gub F. The, the Gub F. F? So slow. Cap, our Gub won't fit in there. She's right. Tweak. You wait here. We may need that tow line. Quasi and I are going in. Hey, wanna play a game? Now? Oh, why not? It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. One of us looks around and says the first letter of what we see, and the other one has to guess what it is. It is kind of dark down here, but OK. I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. Is it a penguin? No. Plankton? No. Uh, oh, I give up. What is it? A polar bear! Oh, okay, my turn. I spy with my little. A polar bear? That polar bear is Captain Barnacles and Quasi. They've come to rescue me. Hey, so, are you okay? Hi, Captain. I got stuck down here when the guppy's battery died, but I'm fine. And who's that wee little guppy with you? Oh, this is my new friend. Boo! Duh. Shiver me whiskers! What matter a wild ocean beastie is this? I'm not a beastie. My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. We can see right up through our heads. Aye, aye. Tweak, we're going to need that tow line. You got it, Cap. Let's hook it to the gup and pull her out of here. <clears throat> okay, lift her up. Is 
Steady, Twig. Careful. <gasps> Yow! Captain, look out! What happened down there? You guys all right? We're okay, Twig. But rocks fell over the gut, and now we can't move it. Captain, what are we going to do? Quasi and I will just have to try to push that huge rock out of the way. Peso, Tweak will pull you up. You steer away from the rocks. But how will I see where I'm going? If the ship's upside down, I won't be able to see up. Ah, we know someone who can see up. We do? Of course we do. Boo! Sure, I'll help Peso steer. Octonauts, let's do this. On the count of three, Quasi. One, two, three, push! Now, pull, Tweak! Now, steer to the left just a little. 